China's blue crab population is declining, according to the South Carolina Department of Natural Resources, and officials say they want to change that. News 2's Forrest Tucker spoke to officials about the reason for the issue. The SCDNR and local crabbers say they want the help of state lawmakers to regulate the number of commercial crabbers in South Carolina to aid a declining crab population. Every year moving forward, it seems like I hear more and more about a decline. Fishermen and experts agree. Some of the trends that we're seeing more recently are certainly a, a, a cause for concern for us. That the future of South Carolina's blue crabs is uncertain. In the past months, DNR has seen a decrease in blue crabs because of these reasons. In terms of, of warming waters, in terms of changes in the salinity regimes of, of these waters, there's also both recreational and commercial crabbing that takes place. Local fisherman Evan Dockery says that the decline is due to the state not having regulations on harvesting. The lower the population gets and the more crabs that are caught, the higher the prices climb. Year round, you're looking at about $150 a bushel. So, you know, people just aren't used to the price yet, but they will be. <laughs> Some say that change needs to come soon or else fishermen will be caught in the deep end. If you limit the number of licenses and the number of traps uh, given away, then you limit the amount of crabs caught every year. The SCDNR asks you to reach out to your local elected official with your thoughts on the issue. On Folly Beach, I'm Forrest Tucker. Count on two. Dang.